Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel named Easy Scholastic. So today with this wonderful stigmans, most stylish speaking, talking, walking, hanging stigmans, we are going to learn something interesting. My name is Jasmine Vijitra. I'm working as an assistant professor in the department of ECE at RMK College of Engineering and Technology. The topic is completely about control systems. Okay. So I think that this term is a new term to you and you may not be familiar with this term control systems. Okay. So this session will completely cover the basic ideologies behind control systems and what is the control system, why we are going for it. Everything will be covered in this topic. Whenever you hear, uh, heard a term co named control systems, you might have uh, arised some questions inside your mind. What is a control system? Why we are using a control system? And what are the types of the control system? What are the advantages and drawbacks? And what are the applications related to this field? Let's see one by one. Now let's discuss what is a control system. So before knowing a control system, we must be familiar about a system. So let's explain what is a system. So a system is a set of elements or components that are connected together to perform a specific function. Let me explain this with the help of an example. So consider this respiratory system. So what, what happens in the respiratory system? A number of components connected together to perform a single function called as respiration. Okay. So what are the organs involved in respiration? Lungs, nose, alveoli, bronchioles, trachea, bronchi. So a number of organs combined together to perform a single task which is called as respiration. So, which is nothing but a system. Okay, so a system is a set of elements or components that are connected to perform a specific function. So from system, we are going to define what is a control system. So, control in the sense, we are having a control over a system. Or we are going to control a system, which is called as a control system. So, we can explain this control system as, just consider a system. Okay, if you consider a classroom as a system, okay oh, so when a teacher enter inside a classroom the teacher is called as a controller okay so whatever uh, explanations the teacher is giving about the topic is called as the input okay and whatever the process that is taking place inside the class is called as the processor and whatever the students gave as an output back in results is called as the output okay so as we know a teacher is a controller uh, the teacher is giving an input and the students are giving us the output and the classroom is called as the processing unit okay so a control system is nothing but the output quantity is controlled by varying the input quantity okay so the control system is the output quantity is controlled by varying the input quantity okay so that's all about this control systems uh, now let me share you some few examples about this control system please check this a lamp is controlled with the help of a switch okay so the switch has two positions on and off so when you press on it is glowing and when you press off it is not glowing right this is a control system okay one more example is so here we are having a solar panel and the solar panels output is connected to a DC box with a battery and this DC box with the battery is controlling a number of devices like fan lamp USB and TV okay so uh, this means that the DC box with a battery is controlling all the devices that are connected to it right so this is also an example for control system similarly I will show you one more example see this is like a game okay a person is having the overall control to the to a wireless device okay so whenever he uh, tilts his hand in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction depending upon the motion the jet is moving right uh, whenever he stops or whenever he tappers his hand based on the sensor that is connected to the human beings hand it is operating right so the motion of that device is controlled by a 
human being with the help of sensors so which is called which is also an example for a control system okay so you what are the types of control systems so the control systems can be broadly classified into two types one is called as a open loop control system and the other one is called as a closed loop system okay so let's see what is a open loop system and what is a closed loop system so coming to the point that is about open loop system you might be confused so what what is this and what is that uh, already we have control system is a new topic to us and uh, they are telling like uh, the control system can be broadly classified into two so what is this and what is that control system itself is a uh, controlling uh, s controlling the system okay you might have some confusions regarding these two but i assure you that they are very very simple than your expectations okay first let's discuss what is a open loop system so open loop system is first you please uh, check this block diagram so we are having an input signal okay and the input signal is uh, given to a controller and the controller will generate a control signal and the control signal is given as an input to the system and the system after processing you will get the output signal so please uh, recall the classroom example i have told you before that is whatever the information the faculty is giving you is called as the input and the teacher is called as the controller okay so he or she is having the full control over the class that is a control signal that acts as a control signal and whatever process taking inside the classroom is called as a system and the outputs or the feedbacks from the student is called as the output signal okay so open loop system is you are giving an input and you are getting an output that's all okay if you are changing the input automatically the output will also be changed okay so open loop system is you are giving an input you are getting back the output with the help of a control signal so whatever changes uh, you are performing in the input side this uh, corresponding output will be delivered at the output side so here we are uh, not having any feedback just you are giving the input and you are getting back the output okay so let's see some uh, practical examples for the open loop system see he see here a camera is taking a picture and the picture is forwarded to a computer and the computer from the computer you are uh, taking the picture with the help of a printer that is open loop system you are giving an input the input is processed and you are getting the output let me show you one more example see here a uh, jelly how a jelly is prepared that is a jelly is uh, blowed from a blower and it is uh, uh, and it is made into a specific shape with the help of a shaping machine and you are getting back it so you are giving an input you are getting an output with the help of a processing unit let us see one more example for an open loop system okay a number of boxes are uh, moving over a belt okay so the speed sensor is used to detect the speed of the movement of each boxes and initially if you, if you observe this uh, video initially the speed of the boxes is very low but later the speed gets increased so based upon the movement of the belt okay or based upon the movement of the uh, boxes the speed sensor will sense the speed and the output of the speed sensor is given to the system driver the system driver speed is controlled by the speed sensor's output now let's move to a closed loop system so on comparing to the block diagram of a open loop system with the closed loop system we have uh, two components as an extra fitting that is a feedback component as well as an error detector okay so uh, please check this block diagram you are giving an input uh, there is an error detector you are giving the output of the error detector to a controller and the output of the controller is given to a system and the system is generating an output okay but here there is a connection which means the part of the output is fed back to the input side okay the part of the output is fed back to the input side which is called as a feedback or an error signal okay so the error detector compares the input signal along with the error signal and produces an output which is given to the controller okay so the major difference between this open loop and closed loop is the closed loop system will contain a feedback but the open loop system has no feedback okay so if there is any change in the output which is automatically corrected with the help of this feedback signal so we can say that in the closed loop system 
uh, the error signal can be automatically corrected but in the open loop system it is not corrected automatically we need to do some external work to correct the output okay so in simple words we can say that if the change in output affects the change in input then it is called as a closed loop system okay so next is some example for a closed loop system see here when the water in the tank reaches a particular level the valve gets blocked so the output is reaching a particular level so after reaching a particular level the part of the output is given to the input side okay so this comprises a closed loop system let me give you one more example that is driving a car you are having a you will be giving a lot of inputs that is using uh, with the help of uh, accelerator brake steering uh, is working and you will be applying clutch and again you will control the speed okay back again back you will control the speed you will increase the speed so the output is completely depending upon the input okay so the output has an effect on input which is called as a closed loop system okay next is let us discuss what are the advantages and disadvantages of this open loop and closed loop system so uh, as we compare this block diagram of open loop and closed loop we can say that the open loop system is very easier to construct we have only some two or three parameters so it is very simple and economical and the system is also stable why because we are not giving any feedback to the input okay so the system is said to be stable and about this closed loop system the closed loop system are accurate and reliable because you will get the exact output why means the output is uh, fr the part of the output is fed back as an input which is called as an error signal so yeah the error signal is automatically getting detected and is automatically corrected right so we can say the output is an accurate and reliable output and in the closed loop system the noises or uh, uh the influence of noise is not much because uh, of this feedback and one more advantage is it is very faster than the open loop system and the variations will also be very low since uh, there is a comparison between this input and the error signal okay and uh, coming back to the disadvantages of open loop and closed loop system the disadvantage of open loop is straight opposite to the advantage of closed loop so the advantage of closed loop accurate and reliable so you can say the disadvantage is inaccurate and unreliable okay and what about this the second one is less affected by noise so you can say that it is affected by noise okay and here you can say that it is less parameter variation uh, because of the feedback correct so you can say that the external disturbances are not automatically corrected because there is no feedback in the open loop system okay so coming to the draw drawbacks of the closed loop system just compare the advantage of the open loop system so this is easier to construct and this is very complex this is simple this is costly okay and this is a uh, stable but here stability is a major problem because we are giving a feedback the disturbance affects the system so the stability is a basic problem since we are using a feedback the overall gain of the system gets reduced okay so that's all about advantages and disadvantages of open loop and closed loop system okay so i hope that uh, you might get a clear idea about control system and what are the types of the control systems what are the basic uh, block elements in the open loop system and block elements in the closed loop system comparison between this open loop and closed loop system so next is the real time applications of control system so in our home itself we are using a number of electronic devices gas cylinders uh, induction stove many many appliances we are using all these works with the help of a controller so whatever devices we are using it comes under a control system okay so the world is full of control systems so i have uh, list out some examples the examples cannot be uh, limited it is a very vast area so i have given you some little examples that is home automation medicine robotics agriculture automobiles in all industries and in all fields control system is a major control system plays a major role okay so next is uh, the summary of the whole uh, session so uh, we understood what is a system what is a control system what are the types advantages and drawbacks of the types of system next what are the components components in the sense uh, 
the block diagram representations next is the block diagram okay okay so i have just given you a overview of a control system uh, hopefully for this session this is enough i think uh, i will give you a quick summary about all the five units we are going to cover under this uh, subject so in the first unit we will be seeing the mathematical models of uh, open loop and closed loop system uh, with the example of some transfer functions and some elements next we will learn about servo motors uh, that is ac and dc servo motors we will be uh, learning about block diagram reduction techniques and signal flow graph flow graphs this is an amazing wonderful and excellent unit but this unit 1 is the basic for all the remaining four units so you have to be very clear uh with the topics under unit 1 okay so the second unit completely deals with uh, time domain analysis and the third unit completely deals with frequency domain analysis so in time domain analysis that is under unit 2 we will be learning about transient response steady state response first and second order systems pole zero concepts pole zero concepts you are much familiar uh, in mathematics right so pole zero concepts steady state error and controllers and the third unit completely deals with the frequency domain specifications so this completely talks about the frequency uh, parameters so uh, the topics under this is closed loop frequency response frequency domain specifications so in unit 2 you, you we will be learning time domain specifications and in unit 3 we will be learning about frequency domain specifications and we will be going through a wonderful plots bode plot polar plot and compensators we will learn about uh, and uh, uh, some three or four compensators in this uh, topic and and a unit 4 uh, it's a very very interesting and uh, very very uh, valuable unit that is we will be completely learning about the stability concepts that is uh, when we can say a system is stable or when we can say a system is unstable what happens if the system is stable what happens if the system is unstable how can we uh, derive the stability of a system with the help of root locus and nyquist stability criterion and with the help of the raut stability criterion how we are going to define the stability of a system so this is also a wonderful chapter uh, next is unit 5 so the, this unit 5 completely deals with state variables so how we are going to represent a system with the help of the state variables how we are going to model a system and how we are going to calculate whether the system is controllable or observable uh, we will be completely analyzing the system with the help of state variables so the difference between the first unit and the last unit is so the first unit is you will be giving a single input and you will be getting a single output that is a single input single output but uh, in the fifth unit we will be completely learning about multiple input multiple output that's all about the uh, comparison between 1 and 5 okay so i assure you that all the five units are very very interesting very very uh, enthusiastic very very informative uh, i hope you uh, you will enjoy the forthcoming sessions now it's time for queries thank you for the patience if you have any queries please let me know i will provide my mail id thank you so much have a great day stay safe and stay healthy